It was weird because we were on opposite sides of the country for a lot of times. I mean, it started with me in New York and him in Austin, I think, or in Chicago. Then him in New York, me in New York, and just as that happened, I moved to DC. Then he moved to LA. So we had to do this thing from across the country. And the best way we found out to start was to talk about ideas and talk about the story. And then I would just give each act a crack because I was the better technical writer. I had more time. I was in law school and then I quit law school to pursue this. So I had the time to set it up, to run through jokes and plot in my head while he was doing all the book stuff and all of the Rudy's media stuff and all of that other thing, all that other stuff that was sort of bigger and grander on the meta level. Um, and what we, we would do is I would finish an act and we would get together. He would come to DC, I would go to LA, we'd run through it, we'd change stuff, we'd go through different jokes, you know, because our senses of humor are, they overlap, but mine's, mine's much broader, like I've watched way more movies and I've written way more about comedy, so my, the breadth of my interest in comedy is sort of over, overwhelms his, so he would come in with his jokes that were especially, we, f we realized they were especially good for his character. Like, I wrote a lot of the Dan jokes and a lot of the Drew jokes and a lot of the, the girl jokes and things like that. But a lot of the really sharp Tucker jokes are, came from him because they came from his personal experience. So I sort of, it sort of developed into major revisions that would be, you know, okay, we've got, we've got a first draft. It's 120 pages. It's got to get down to 110 or 105. Um, this is what we can cut, this is what we can change. Tucker, you write these scenes, and they were the scenes where Tucker was the focus, and I'll write everything else. And it worked out really well because we ended up with situations where Tucker would have these just bam, like these lines that would just, that would tag scenes and would make you just fall on the floor. And I'd have, I'd have the foundation laid for that joke to really explode. And we did that, I mean, we, mu we must have crossed the country to write about write this together um, six or seven times over the course of two years. And each time, it got a little better. And finally, it got to the point where this was good enough that it was getting interest from um, other studios and our producing partners were saying, you know, this is really close, you're, you're really, it's, this is really good. And I said, you know, screw it, I gotta get out to LA, and I moved to LA. And we spent, you know, the better part of every week for a few weeks re sitting together and going over line by line the jokes and the setups and the dialogue and the meaning. I mean, we would, qui we would quibble over single words in the setup to a joke. You know, like, it was almost, uh, it was like we were battling thesauruses, you know? Uh, Merriam-Webster versus Roger, you know? This word means this. No, this word means this. No, if you say this, it implies this, which screws up this joke. And because the script was so tightly woven together over the course of all of those, those stints together writing over the previous two years, that if you affected one thing in the first act, it would almost assuredly affect something farther down the line. So as we got along in the process, we worked closer and closer together. It wasn't one of those, those things where we started, you know, two, like you see in TV shows where two people share a desk in a room and they have their laptops back to back and they trade story ideas. It was the exact opposite. I mean, we started at other sides of the country. He had the story, the Austin Road Trip story and part of the first act. I wrote pretty much the entire foundation of it going back and forth with him, doing lines and character adjustments. And then as we got closer and closer to a finished product, we worked, started working closer and closer together to the point where at the very end, before even to this day as we make tweaks after rehearsal, 
we sit down right next to each other and just go over lines and go over word choice to make sure that we have the exact right joke for the scene and it's the best possible outcome for any change that we make. It's funny, when we write, it's really a great yin and yang uh, situation. Um, I'm really good at coming up with like the scene, like the whole set piece, like what's going to happen here. And, uh, and he's really good at, at, at understanding, okay, this scene has to have a purpose. You know, here's you know, where they start, here's where they end, what's the purpose, weaving it into the narrative. Um, and then you know, another example is like, all right, take the top 30 best jokes in this script. Eight of the top 10 are mine. And probably 25, or probably uh, of the next 20, like 16 of those 20 are his. So it's like, like uh, he probably, he probably has, you take whatever, all the jokes out of the script, he probably has 60, 70%, because he's, he's much better than I am at like, Niels, here's the situation, come up with a line that's funny. I'm not right like that. Like I come up with the line and then like, it goes in a situation or situations created around it or I come up with a really funny situation and three or four really funny lines and then and then uh, like we write a scene around it whereas he kind of works the other way and then uh, yeah it's funny like the, uh, the, the the script I mean the Tucker character I wrote virtually every word out of that character's mouth hello little Buckley um, and uh, the, the Drew character which is based on my buddy Sling Blade is maybe a third stuff he actually said in real life, a third stuff I wrote, and a third stuff Niels wrote. And then the Dan character, which is based on a combination of three or four of my real life friends, it's almost all Niels. It's actually more like Niels now, the way the script is developed, than, than it is like any of my friends. But, um, yeah, but, uh, it's, I mean, it's been great. Like, there's no way, no question I could have written a script without Niels, and it could have been funny, but there's no way it would have been the movie that it is now, and no way it would have been as good. No way.